Yo, 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 guys, welcome to the channel. So, today we are going to be discussing an awesome topic, which is something that's close to my heart because I was not the most comfortable person once upon a time, but now I personally see myself as someone that can literally go into any situation, put myself in front of the camera, and I am comfortable. So, this is specifically for if you are going into the entertainment industry, let's say you're an actor, a model, a presenter a television host, anything like that, where you have to be on camera. This is for you. If there's something that you think that you need, some tips on how to be comfortable in front of the camera, then keep watching. If you don't wanna change, I can help you out. I can help you out. I can Starting off, I just need to say this. When I started off, I was not comfortable at all. I used to be a shy person and basically it took a lot of training and a lot of just getting out of my comfort zone to basically get to the point where now I call myself an actor. I'm working as an actor, working as a presenter. I have some modeling gigs that I do and yeah, so it took a lot of time to get to where I was, but basically it was the model of the story was basically just getting out of my comfort zone. And because I could do it, I am 100% sure that you could do it as well. So starting off, actually getting that time in front of camera. So basically what this means is actually have yourself recorded, okay? Look at yourself. Because one thing that a lot of people do is they record themselves and then they're too shy to look at what at, at what was recorded. They're too shy to show people. So that is the starting block of actually getting out of your comfort zone. So when you're recording yourself, show it to other people. Look at their reactions. Watch watch it along with them. Because that little shy moment that you get like, oh no, no, I don't like watching myself. That little thing of actually just watching it means you are owning up to what you did. So one of two things can happen. Either you're gonna be shy, shy about what happened, you're gonna be embarrassed, and you're gonna be like, okay, I need to improve on what I did there. Or second, you're going to be like, hmm, it's actually not that bad. Like, why am I stressing? This person obviously likes what this person is seeing. So obviously that means that it's not that bad. So the most important thing is get comfortable on camera. Have yourself recorded. If you are hoping to become a presenter or an actor or anything like that, then record yourself acting. Record yourself doing monologues. Record yourself reading out any form of a script, anything like that. Just record yourself. And the more you do it, the more comfortable you will get. And the more comfortable you get, the better you will look when you are going out for an audition or a casting call, anything where you are required to be on camera, you're just gonna be like, okay, I can do it. You understand? And then also, cool tip, start adding on more people because you start off by just recording yourself and showing it to people. Secondly, start having people there, like ask, ask some friends to do it. Then ask some friends to be there while you're recording it. Those little bit of just adding a few more people just means you are getting yourself ready for large crowds because ultimately, it's all people that, that would judge you. That's what's happening in your mind. Like you're thinking this person's gonna judge me, so that's why I'm shy or scared to show this side of myself to this person. But if you can allow yourself to slowly start seeing this as, no, I'm good, so whatever they say is just gonna be positive, that's gonna help you a lot. Secondly, how to get more comfortable on camera, just actually start practicing what needs to be done, if that makes any sense. So basically it's like, let's say you have to perform a monologue as an actor, okay? Let's say you need to perform a scene, okay? start practicing it with other people but also actually go over the notes that you have been given because also the more comfortable you feel with the notes the more comfortable you will feel actually performing whatever is being asked of you so i'll give you an example let's say i've been given a script i did not practice the script at all so that means i'm comfortable on camera but now i'm not comfortable in doing the scenes because i haven't because i actually haven't prepared with it at all so that means then I'm in a dilemma where it's like I'm comfortable now, but now I'm not comfortable in performing the scenes the way I would want to because I feel comfortable with the actual scenes. So that little bit of a dilemma that you'll have will cause issues. So along with the first one of actually getting in front of the camera, secondly, actually go over what needs to be done. So go over notes and stuff. Make yourself comfortable with um, 
being like being in scenes with people, actually interacting with people, and also if there is scripts and stuff, you need to go over. Be comfortable with what is on that script and how you are going to tackle that that script, and basically go over it within being on camera. And basically that's it. It's a lot more simple than a lot of people like to think. Actually being comfortable on camera is basically just actually getting that time in front of the camera. Having people record you, acting in scenes with people, presenting with people, just being in front of the camera, then working on the scripts and stuff that you've been given and all of that. But the main, the main focus is just get in front of the camera because the more you do it the more you will practice and the more you practice it the better that you will become over time and then when auditions and casting calls and anything comes even if you're just meeting people you'll immediately be more comfortable with talking to people anything like that because you've over, you've stepped over that hurdle it's all about little hurdles so starting today get yourself in front of the camera then as time goes on, just start jumping over more and more hurdles and then you'll just be more comfortable in general, okay? So this actually leads to another video that I am gonna be recording soon, which is basically gonna be focused on how to practice acting. And along with that also, another section is gonna be how to practice modeling at home. So if you guys think that's an awesome idea for a video, or two videos actually, then let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so, so, so much for watching this video all the way till the end. I tried to keep this as short as possible, but I do also think that this was an amazing little piece of advice that a lot of aspiring performers, entertainers, anything that they just, you guys just needed to hear, okay? So thank you so, so much for watching this video till the end. Please do give this video a like, please subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications for when the next posts do come. Have an amazing day further. I have been Ty. This has been a talk and you have been totally awesome. Don't be a stranger.